I want to give it a higher score, but it just felt like. I have not swung one. It was feeling really good. What? Yeah. What do you think? Honestly. What's going on today? Uh, Wolfpack Bat Reviews. Uh, we read your comments and we were able to find an Axe Bat uh, to be able to review. I have not swung one, um, so I'm really excited to see how this is. The funny thing is, this was the first bat that me and both of my brothers all pitched in on and bought together brand new from Axe's website. We didn't really know much about softball. We were just getting into it, wanted a better quality bat. Axe had a bunch of Facebook ads that we kept seeing, so yeah. I've had this sitting around we just never thought to do a video on it. And yeah. finally, here we are bringing to you uh, one of Axe's a little bit older bats, a couple of years old, but they have some really cool technology that we can talk about after we do some swinging on this thing yeah. and uh, kind of review. So, ready? Yeah, let's get out there. Okay, your first time swinging an axe bat. What? Yeah. What do you think? Honestly, I liked it. Um, it it felt pretty good. Honestly, um, it took me a couple cuts to get used to the handle. Yeah. Uh, that's their big thing for the axe bat. They have this different handle right here. Um, it took a little getting used to. I'm used to dropping my pinky um with like a knob cuff on the end of one. So getting used to that was a little different. Um, but once I got to it, it was feeling really good. Um, exit velocity was kind of there. Um, I definitely was thinking it would be higher, but it could have been just me trying to get used to a swing with that knob. Um, but I generally liked how it felt. What about you? So I liked it. Obviously I'm used to this is what I started out with. And I think this is what got me into using the knob cuff and dropping a pinky that I do now yeah. because the handle kind of introduces a lot of that same stuff. Mm -hmm. For you guys that don't know, or kind of wondering the, the point of this where it kind of comes down and out like an ax handle, that's where you hold it like this because when you're swinging then, it literally says right here, engineered hitting zone. Yep. This is where you're supposed to hit it. I remember Jaden in one of our uh, just local leagues hit it backwards like this and almost put it over the fence. And the bat is not designed to be hit back here. No, not at all. It's designed for you to hold it like this and to hit right here where the whole basically carbon fiber, hexagon, honeycomb looking design is, and that's yeah. the spot. But the other thing too with Axe Bats is I feel like recently after this one came out, their technology has gotten better. Yeah. Or they just have bigger dudes swinging their bats. One of the two, because <laughs> there's some pretty impressive numbers and bats out there now yeah. compared to this one, which I feel like came out just a little before the precipice that they're kind of on right now. Yeah, I definitely would like to get one of the newer ones out there. I've been seeing a lot of stuff online about them, so I definitely want to get my hands on one of those newer ones and then definitely do a review on that one. Um, How did you like the feel like of the ball actually hitting the sweet spot and everything or miss hits? Like, how did you yeah, like that? Yeah, so I, the miss hits I feel like still felt decent, but when mm -hmm. you hit it and you made contact, it felt good, but it, it didn't feel like it had that like springboard pop that you're looking for. That's true. Yeah. Contact felt good, but it didn't kind of bounce off the bat, if yeah. that makes sense. It kind of absorbed it and then it went off and i think that's why my exit velocity i think yours were a little bit lower mm -hmm. today when we were hitting just because of the fact that it didn't have the pop we were looking for necessarily yeah 
I think part of it too is obviously, so the nice thing about Axe Bats is they have a couple different variations, but this one's designed for like every league in the world, right? So yeah. you got your ISF, NSA, ASA, U-Trip. Uh, I think there's another one too on here. Maybe the, I have another Axe Bat too. I think it's got ISA and one other, but it's basically got every league in the world on here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because obviously different balls have different technology to take yeah. full advantage of that. And if you jack of all trades, master of none type of things, maybe that's... Yeah, I definitely get that. I mean, with it being a multi-stamp, they have to then have a technology that handles all the different balls. And I mean, a U-trip ball from an ASA ball are way different. Yeah. So that definitely could be a thing towards this bat that hinders it, or it might make it better. Honestly, we don't know 100%. What would you rate this thing out of 10? Out of 10, I would probably give it around a seven. I was uh, gonna say like a six or seven. I, okay. Again, I feel like the spring effect wasn't there that I was kind of hoping yeah. for at the top, but I love the handle. I love the feel of it. That's mm -hmm. something that when we first got it, I just, I really liked how that felt. Yeah. And so that, that I want to give it a higher score, but it just felt like it was missing a little bit, which I know Unicorn has a couple of collabs with Axe on a couple of bats too. And there's some pretty fire colorways too. Yeah. And so I'm kind of hoping we can get our hands on one of those coming up. Um, if you guys have any you'd like to see, make sure to drop a comment below. And as always, thank you for your support. Like, share, and subscribe. It's Wolfpack Bat Reviews on YouTube. Later. See ya.